tax reform bill 2017. I had to read every article online before I did this video. I heard everyone talking about the new tax reform bill, but one of my own understanding. I live by a law that say it is good to know something about something than to know nothing about nothing. I practice this on the deadly. I don't want to be in a convo talking about what someone else told me from their understanding of the new tax bill. I want my own understanding of the new bill. Something everyone should know, this bill go in effect January 1st, 2018. However, nobody won't see any effect of this bill on their taxes until 2019. When we file our 2018 taxes, with that being said, we all have enough time to figure out ways around this bill. Everything in America have holes in it where we can pinch a penny and get away with things. To be honest, I am not concerned with the tax cuts for major companies. I am worried about the poor people in America. Everyone that make 20 grand a year will see more in their check and tax refund every year. In other words, everyone in America that make under 20 grand, nothing will change for us until we progress and achieve a bigger income. Things will be the same for the lower class. There are seven tax brackets. Five of the brackets are being reduced. The new rates start at 10% and rise there to 12, 22, 24, 32, 35, and 37%. The good news is the Affordable Care Act fee will be eliminated starting January 1st, 2019. That means January 2019, nobody will be taxed for not having health care. That is Trump's way of getting rid of the Affordable Care Act when really all he doing is making America forget about the health care bill while he in the office. Someone down the road would develop a better health care plan. Now all the Americans that signed up for Obamacare, how do you feel? I forgot how many people signed up for Obamacare. The numbers was high. Take notes, the rich will find a way to get more money out of our pockets like the Obamacare did. The bill also say taxpayers can deduct medical expenses that exceeds 7.5% of their adjusted income, gross income. And I'm not sure what that means. I think it's saying Americans can get tax credit for medical expenses that exceeds 7.5% of their adjusted gross income. And adjusted income means your income after all your deductions out your check. The child tax credit of single parents can claim two, two grand for credit for each qualifying child under 17. Oh, and that credit is refundable up to fourteen hundred. You get credit for two grand. Uncle Sam gonna keep six hundred of your credit. Yeah, I know that is crazy. I am sure everyone know a way around all of that. I know I do. I am sure we all will find loopholes around this bill to keep more money in our pockets. I have to admit we are not wrong. Only the rich will see huge increase. Why should they receive the biggest increase? They are already rich.